6-6-2020 N-O-W, big bull run, big great stock that we always make markets in daily on this weekly chart. One of the things that we had covered, and we're going to make it very clear, is when we had hit the top up here, we said we were overbought, and we did. And we had bought the put options, and that's when we hit 393.1, and the lows were 367. And that was a nice drop from an overbought. Now, we still remain at levels in that overbought zone. So, let's make that clear. And that means that the put options. So, when NOW goes up and breaks a high, then the current put options would even go lower than what they are now. And I'm going to go ahead and show a daily chart on NOW. And in our platform, we can clearly see when we call that reversal. You can see it right here on the daily, and that was on 526, as it was. And that high was 396 in the $400 put options. And we went from that price level, and we went straight right down here to these lows, at 352 and that was a huge return and then that trade was over just as it was overbought here and just as it is overbought here where we said it would go down as it did and then it's come right back up to the top that's what the daily looks like i'm going to go ahead and show the uh put option chart which 99 percent of the people that our public option traders don't use or see. So you can see the weekly here where that long wick comes up to that diamond there and you can see that resistance level with this last week. With the daily, when we do get overbought as we are again, we have not taken out that monster high over here where we were overbought. And there were times where we were going to come down and we were overbought on 511. And and just to give you a remember, the high was 388 and the dip was down to the lows there, uh, 360, uh, I mean, down to the lows of uh, 351. And it was a really big trade. So, you know, that happens in bull runs, okay? So it is bull runs and bull markets that get overbought again. And why are they successful? And why is market making and being able to have all the tools and the mathematics is the most important thing, which we have right here. And we do. And the diamonds are the algorithms in the marketplace. And there is an alarming thing that when we go up here again, we're going to be looking at putting that same trade right back on again. And this was Friday's daily bar on options expiration. And this is how the week ended here on the weekly from that dip mathematically straight right back up mathematically. The diamond is the algorithm of last week's algorithm, which is a machine. And it's used in the exchanges. And nonetheless, it does automatic transactions versus what the public would ever do. So you have to really know what you're doing. And you do. And that's a problem in the downfall of a lot of people. Nonetheless, all we care about as a market maker is where we always keep getting the biggest gains. And it's always in the name of the price action and which way it's going. So when it pops and goes up, you make the money. When it gets overbought and it drops like a rock, you make the money. And when it pops up again, and so forth and so on. And that is what making a market in options is. And the percent level returns with overnight positions. Because overnight uh, risk management portfolios are the ones that make the really the biggest money. That's something, I mean, if you were an investor or had a high rate and you're trying to hold on to this exuberant stuff, then you should be careful. 
but we're here and we, uh, you know, we do have services that address that for those kind of people. Well, managed account program for those kinds of people who need that risk done for them, no problem. And why the risk is being done, we can teach you how. And it's all done mathematically. So that's exactly what we go with. We're going to take a look at the $390 put option chart, which was up here. And the highs were $19. And now we get marked down to $8.40. And that is the cheapest side of the market. So when you're overbought up here and you want to say, oh, okay, well, if we're overbought, we're going to have a pullback. Well, you want to be the lowest price here. And no one's going to be lower than us. Again, we're always at the lows. And they mark them down on the public on this side of the market. So when you're looking for that daily overbought, and but particularly the weekly overbought, and we've already featured the trade and done it several times. We make markets on it every single day of the week. And we do. And the thing about it is, is now it's time for you. It's time for you to move forward and join the free live trading room so that you can experience accuracy and what real market making is and how options and the market making pits and the exchanges really work versus your retail option trading stuff. That's so outdated. I mean, that's why you're, those people have trouble. Anyway, when they get inflated, they're going to come down and they're deflated. And you're looking at the lowest, cheapest value based on dollar capital risk entry. That's number one being what? Wholesale. Wholesale is everything in this business because that's how you make money. And then you make money by identifying the tops. You did the trade here. You, you, you've done the trades over here before. And, 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 and you've taken them all the way up to the highs and, and, and you've gotten all of the dips and mathematically everything popped up. And then they get blowing up. When they get blowing up at certain price levels, then they have these big drops like that. And, and just like we said right here, overbought, going to come down. And it did. And it went from the high right up here, like I said, on that particular one on 6.2, that was 3.92, but the low was way down here at 3.67. So, and then we pop right back up and we're overbought. And this is the weekly, this is that weekly bull trend. And you have to be very concerned when they get up there. So when one side of the market is totally mathematically imbalanced from the other side of the market, so the calls are at their very highs, but then the put side of the markets are at their very lows. So by identifying, we have the platform. We own it. We built it. And, it, and, and mathem mathematics do not lie. And mathematics are one, two, three, four, five, six straight up from the breakout points on the weekly highs with big dips along the way and overbought processes all the way up and big breakouts all the way up. So once again, it's our privilege. It's our talent. We're here. We're waiting for you. We have a market maker team of people waiting on the sideline just to go ahead and enjoy the live trading room with you and go through the trades, things that you can see that you can't see anywhere else because nobody else can do it when it's live. And we can, and we'll show you how today. Looking at 390 puts, $400 puts, overbought process, could go up higher, could challenge a previous high before rolls over, is in the overbought, will pay again. The capital dollar risk based on the overbought is 100% in our favor, which it can do in 15 minutes, could do it in an hour, could do it in one day, could be three days from now. The time and price will happen when it does during the live market hours.